our Plymouth Superbird tribute car is out in the body shop. Uh, it's already been primered one time, blocked, and now it's ready for another primer. With any luck, that'll be the last primer before the car's actually ready to paint. That car's going FJ5, which is the limelight green. I wanted to take a minute just to kind of go over some of the things that made make the Superbird as difficult, truly, as it is when it comes to building one from scratch like we did in this case. The nose itself has already been primered. All of the pieces that make it up is something that I wanted to share with Alyssa. This is the completed unit that you would buy if you were gonna buy like a used assembly with all the pieces in it. It's got okay. the actuator on it, it's got the can itself, it's got the end plates. If you look, this is part of the end of the pivot. So it has this plate here with a nylon bushing in it. These are all really nice. If you were just restoring one of these cars, you would take so this, this unit apart. Right, this is the original. Okay. You'd detail it, rebuild it, and together as a unit, you'd walk back here, and you would basically install that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not perfectly yeah, up Yeah, but I see it. what you're saying. But I'm saying that's one great big unit. What we get from Janik, so on the after we can't buy that unit anymore. You would probably pay $2,500 for a headlight, maybe $3,500 <clears throat> just for this oh, headlight wow. bucket okay. if you could find it. So instead, we bought the kit from Janik. When we bought that kit, it had to be completely assembled. Uh, Ryan, if he's got a minute. These were templates, correct? Yes, it was just a, a blank sheet that gave you a diagram to cut these out. Okay. To build these steel plates. So it was a template to make it out of steel. To make it out of steel. So you can put the actuator on. Now what we have is we have this, simulated this. Yeah. And then since this here screws into sheet metal, it'll hold together. But we made a bonding strip. Because ours is fiberglass. We fiberglass. can't screw into fiberglass. We made this plate here, which I bonded in, so we have a stud plate for strength. Beautiful. To hold it in place. And now you just put your nuts on there and you've got exactly the same amount of strength, if not more, than this one had. Correct. It's such a multitude of parts. It's not just an erector set that you're bolting together, but you do have to make modifications to it. This plate here is made out of fiberglass, which is a very nice piece. But we needed this mount here for the end of this actuator to clip on to, to clip on to which to drag pushes that door up. Down. Okay. Also, this metal plate here holds this the springs that adjust the headlights. So we had to fab this here. Because the kit did not come with this. No. Okay, so you would need to make this piece. Yes. And this little bracket in the middle, which is almost identical to the one that the factory had. Yes. But then the rest of this is the original fiberglass that you just had to cut out. Just had to cut out all the There holes. were marks here, but you had to cut the actual oh, wow. holes themselves. Correct. But it's a phenomenal kit. The, the Janik reproduction is amazing. Everything is there except for just a couple little intricate pieces. Where'd you get the original headlights? Those are out of one of our customer cars that we're doing right now, which okay. is great that we have some original examples to go by. But we're not gonna actually use these? On no, the these go back to his car. They'll get restored and put back when we do his car. Oh, okay. But they were, they were already out and they were already on the shelf, so I'm using them as a template, which is great because yeah. there's a lot of pieces that make this crazy thing up. The amount of work that Ryan put in to fabricate is where I would get lost at. I mean, it's a lot easier to sit there with the original one and be able to put it together because you do have that to reference, which is a you huge amount of help. You can see how it came apart and it goes right exactly. back together. This stuff was all sort of new. So this is all bolted together like this in the car and see, then it pivots and- Just like the factory one does. This piece here, which I have the kit headlight doors. So that's a okay. duplicate of what we've got so there. So this is a duplicate. And it will pivot. And then he's gonna be able to close that door close like down. that. That's awesome. And that ends him up with what we have here. Essentially there, yeah. There's such a learning process, like with any of this stuff, and no two cars are the same, so expect the unexpected. Ryan, would you say this is the most complicated part of making a Roadrunner into a Superbird? It's one of them. It's been a good journey. It's a, a learning experience. Um, it's a puzzle. Yeah. This is probably um, the biggest puzzle, like the wing, it goes on kind of, it's basically a big part. Yes. The nose cone, we kind of get it. The, the hood modification, the but this is pretty big. This is to have to make function and withstand usage. So this will go on to that. This will be a complete headlight unit. He's already got the vacuum pods that go on the back of it. And that's what goes into making just one headlight function on one of these cars. But it's right in the spirit of the factory one, just a little bit better in some ways. What so. more could you ask for? 
it was fairly crude from the factory. It's fairly crude now. We just kind of, I think, expounded on that a little bit and made it just a little bit better. I think we probably put more thought process into restoring the cars than they did probably originally on some of these smaller things. Oh, it like has the headlights. to. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, you've got this thing apart right now so that Will can do the primering on all the pieces. Correct. Get them painted, get the nose back together again, and then the nose goes on as one unit. Is that correct? Yes. Perfect. Yes. I might feel more comfortable about building one in the future than, uh, than I was when this project started. All right. So that's where we're at on that. Got it? Simple. Yeah. Clear as mud. Okay. <laughs> all right. Good job. This station will remain on the air day and night. Day and night.